Hey guys, I pray that everyone's having a blessed day. I'm here with JB. JB, you want to say hi to everyone? He's on his Mr. Peanut Ball. He just loves this ball. He just sits on it and plays on it. Oh, I'm trying to get comfortable here on this couch. Let's see. Let's see where people are at. I don't see no one on here just yet. But um, the, the purpose of this live, I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and see if people show up. I don't think no one is here. Yeah, we're still waiting, JB. I don't know, my live has been messing up, so it, it's been hard to really tell if this one's even going to go through or people can even see it because the, the lava has been messing up for some reason. Hey, hey guys. Hi, JB. They saying hi to you. Hi. Hey guys. I pray that everyone's having a blessed day. Hi, hi. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome. Welcome from Texas. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you guys with us. Uh, yeah, I wanted to come on and um, chat with you guys for a little bit because I have some stuff that I want to say and I can't do it in a short. So I'm like, I need to go live because I got so much to say. So y'all just um, bear with me. I'm not going to keep y'all guys long, but you know, I, I get these emails and I get all these questions and it's like some of the questions are the same questions by different people. So it's like, you know, let me just make a live and address it that way. You know, I don't have to respond to all these people telling them the same thing and I could just tell you guys on live. But um, they, they ask about autism. They want to know what's it like. How did I know JB had autism? At what age was he diagnosed? He was diagnosed with autism at the age four, guys. He was diagnosed at four. He had some delays, you know, um, coming up. Um, he was walking and crawling on time. So he was doing those things, you know. It was um, his speech that was delayed. We thought he couldn't hear. You know, we had to get him an get another hearing test done on JB because we didn't think he could hear. Because every time we would say his name, he wouldn't respond. He wouldn't even turn his head to, or acknowledge that we were talking to him. So um, my, um, my, my mother-in-law, she was like, um, Patricia, you know, we may need to get his ears tested because he is not responding to his name. He's not even, you know, turning our way. So we went and got his ears tested and found out he could hear fine. He just, you know, just was in his own little world. And whenever we would say his name, he just didn't respond, but he could hear well. So that was an early sign for us. So parents, I know a lot of y'all are at the beginning stage of kids um, that finding out that your kids have autism and some of y'all don't even know what autism is or don't know what signs to look for. So that right there is a sign. They, they don't, um, some of them don't make eye contact. They don't smile when you smile at them. Some of them don't want to be touched. Um, some of them, um, speech is delayed. Some don't talk. Some are nonverbal. And, and we, we love them all the same. And, um, you know, um, a lot of parents I noticed, um, you know, definitely um, from my family members is the, the hardest part about autism for a lot of families in the beginning is the acceptance part. You know, nobody wants to hear that word. Your child has autism. Nope. Nobody wants to hear it like, no, not my child, you know, mm -mm, you know, because I have told people in the past, like, hey, you know, your kid is holding their ear like JB. They showing the same signs that my son was experiencing at that age. You may need to get your child tested and get them evaluated, at least do that to find out, hey, you know, it may not be the case. Your child may not have autism, but at least go get your child evaluated and tested if there is a concern because, you know, we talk so much about early intervention, you know, finding out these things early on and getting them treated, getting the um, services that they need. There's, there's different services out there. You know, there's speech therapy, there's occupational therapy, there's behavior therapy, Therapy, there's music therapy. So whatever services that your child needs, you first you need to start with getting your child evaluated. And, and that that's where we start at, guys. We have to start there. But um, 
Just because you get the diagnosis that your child is on the spectrum, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world, that your child won't be able to do things. That, that's not the case. Your child can still do things. They're just not going to do them at the pace of kids their age. And that, that's okay. That's why we work with them. That's why we get them in these services so that they can help them. Occupational therapy, they work with them with their fine motor skills, speech. They help them if they're delayed in speech, you know, behavior. It focuses on their behavior so um it's it's not uh, it's not like a death sentence like people think oh lord my child has autism oh lord my child isn't speaking my child is nonverbal. you know it's it's not the end of the world guys i'm here to encourage you guys if you have the littlest doubt that your child is something wrong with your child, go do the test. Just go get the test done. You know, if it comes back and your child is fine, then that that's great. If it comes back and your child has autism or whatever um, disability your child may have, that that just helped you out. So now you know what route to go and how you can help your child. So you find out these things early on so that you are able to help your child. So that's where I talk about acceptance. You know, we have to accept it and not be, you know, um, so quick to want to turn our kids away and say that, okay, they can't fit in society because they have been labeled. Don't, don't let them say that your child can't fit in. You know, your child can be in society. Your child can do things. You know, we just have to do them differently. So um, please, 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 you know, if you're on the fence about it and you really debating and you really concerned that your child or someone you know or a grandchild or a relative has autism and their parent is not as accepting as it and they're like, nah, my kid is just... Um, my kid is just young. You know, I hear a lot of that from people. Oh, my kid is young. Nothing is wrong with my child. And sometimes it be some, something be wrong with these kids. And so we talk about, you know, getting them into evaluation and getting these services available to them if they need them. You know, there's so much resources out there. I've been talking to people all day today, all day yesterday about different resources available, you know, um, with me going through the stuff that I'm going through with my health, um, I, you know, just the last couple of days, just finding out different stuff available for um, parents that are in my in my situation that don't have no one to come and be with their kids. You know, we've had so many people step up and be like, hey, where do we need to be? How can we help? And I appreciate all these people, you know, for coming forward and trying to help us and offering assistance. Um, there's a program of there's different waivers out there, too, because I know a lot of us cannot work. And we are full-time caregivers of our children because they either can't go to school full-time or they can't, or they're not in therapy, whatever the situation may be. Um, there are waiver programs available for parents like us out there. Your child, you just have to apply for them. You have to know where to apply for them. Go to your local DCBS office, talk to a caseworker, get hot on the case. Once you get that diagnosis that your child is autistic or your child has some kind of special needs, you need to apply for a medical waiver. So that's what they're called. They're medical waivers. I don't know what they're called in other states, but here in Kentucky, it's called the Michelle P waiver. So they are a lot of wait lists. These wait lists are five to 10 years long, but it is worth it. You sign up on it and you'll be able to get the services. You can um, be able to stay home with your child. The state will pay you to stay home with your child and be a caregiver to your child. And you will be able, they will even pay for your insurance. So they will pay for your insurance. They'll pay you to be home with your child. So you're a full-time caregiver of your kid. And so, um, like I know a lot of us cannot work outside of the home because, you know, some, some are in my situation like we are, you know, JB's just finally getting into ABA therapy back in August where he attends full-time. So with him attending full-time, that kind of frees up a little time for me to go to my appointments and, you know, make time for myself. So th that's what I've been doing lately is trying to take care of myself and, you know, get myself taken care of. But um, don't think that, you know, 
oh, five to 10 years, that's a long wait. We all have to wait these long, we all have to wait on these wait lists. They, they, they are long, but they are worth it, guys. They, they really are. You have to get on it as quickly, click quickly as possible. So they are called, again, the medical waivers. They will pay you to be your child's caregiver. They will provide health insurance for your child, for you. They will give you respite service. So whenever you need a break, and see, that's what I haven't been using because I always do everything on my own. So they provide respite care. I just have not used it. You know, I've been like, you know, uh, I'll, I'll do it. You know, I'm, I'm fine. I haven't had to get to that point yet, but I'm getting there. To where I'm like, okay, I need help, you know, and it's okay to accept help and parents, you know, um, we, we need help too, you know, being a caregiver, being a parent of a special need, um, look into different support systems in your area, see if they got a support system for families with autistic kids that, um, because we need support, we need a network, a social network that we can um, pour out to and we can um, share our stories and share similar experiences and share our journey with one another and, and just uplift each other, you know, because we are not alone. You know, I, I see the emails, I see y'all comments, you know, it breaks my heart that, you know, it's like, I, I, I know God wanted me to open up this channel. I, I know he did because so many people are in my email saying similar stuff. Their, their stories are so similar to ours. And, and it's like, you know, they, they don't even know about half this stuff that I just told you guys. They, they are at the beginning of it and just clueless and, and is looking for services, is looking for help and don't know where to start, don't know where, you know, which way to go, who to turn to. So, um, get go to your local dcbs office get you a caseworker um have your child's doctor um get your child evaluated um let your doctor um recommend you to a place where they can do the evaluation so that you can go ahead and start this process because um it's it, it takes a little time but you you got to get on it guys you really do so um yeah so we talk about um autism what it looks like you know everybody is not at the same level on the spectrum you know um they said that um jb is level i think it's level four if i'm not mistaken so there's people that are low functioning there's people that are high functioning so um you just got to get your child tested to find out where they stand at on the spectrum because like i said every child is different you know we all have similar stories and what we go through and how it affects our family but um get your child get your child tested get your grandchild tested you know talk to your family members if you're like man hurt my my family member's child acts just like jb and he has the he has the same things going on with him talk to your people tell them hey this is my concern we need to get um out we need to get this kid tested and get him evaluated just to at least to evaluate that point and just to get that out the way so but guys y'all have to be an advocate for your children once you get that diagnosis that your child is um has autism you know it don't stop there you have to put in the work so we all need to be putting in our work doing our best putting our best foot forward helping these children so that they are capable and able to function in society if something wants to happen to them and um also you know um i hear about trust and um trust um special need trust funds if y'all know anything about that just put it in the comment you know i'm still learning as well so whatever i learn i'm gonna share it with you guys you guys are my family like some of y'all call me auntie and sis and some of y'all even call me mom i'm like oh lord you know <laughs> i guess i am old enough to be some of y'all mom but um y'all family to me we love you whatever i learn whatever i find out i'm gonna come and share it with you guys so that y'all can know what i know and we can go from there if this helps just one person that's a blessing so we, we want to um we want to be able to help others out there that going through similar stuff that we are going through you know when we don't want you to feel alone you know there are services there are things out there that are available that um a lot of these places do not tell you some of this stuff that i just told you guys they do not volunteer this information 
So you are, you're welcome. You guys are welcome because some of this stuff is a lot of parents that don't know about medical waivers and they have kids that have autism and have had autism for years and never even heard of a Medicaid waiver. They're like, wow, I could have already had my son on it. My son got diagnosed and, um, two or five years ago. And they're like, I'm like, you should already have put them on that um, waiver. Your caseworker, someone should have mentioned it to you along the way. But, you know, um, some things you hear about word of mouth because some of these places, they're not going to broadcast, hey, we have this service we're available. So if you do get that information from a caseworker or from someone that um, is working in one of these agencies, be, be grateful and thankful because they're not sharing it. You know, a lot of this stuff I've learned is through word of mouth. It was not something that these agencies came and told me. So I, I'm, I'm telling you guys. So um, also, I wanted to talk about um, y'all be careful. Be careful. I know it's a lot of um, people out here that have YouTube channels and they, they're making um, content and creating stuff. But oh, my alarm's going off. Sorry. I, I, I just want y'all to be careful because there, there are people like um, emailing me. You know, I've had to block people from my email. I've had to... Um, um, on my Facebook account, I've had to like um, make it private because I, I've been having people um, like stalking us. We when JB was at the hospital this um, this last time, we had someone downstairs trying to come up that was pretending to be JB's dad. And they was like, um, there's somebody downstairs and they had just called upstairs to the um, the the front asking to come see JB and they was like well what's your son's name he was like his name is JB he's up there he's up at children's hospital and so somebody was downstairs pretending to be JB's dad and wanted to come up and see us thankfully these people had enough sense to be like uh-uh let me call up there and talk to the mom and see if she's taking visitors and I was like nah his dad ain't here that description that y'all gave us of him is not his dad that his dad don't look like that so that that's not his dad but I don't know why people do stuff like that but there's some weird people out here so y'all be careful posting your content you know um I'm trying to think of her name Sadie with the uh um receipts she put me on yeah that's her name sadie with the receipt she put me on to be careful about you know um the um locations like whenever i'm doing um videos like sometimes there'll be a walmart in the background or a store or somewhere where it gives away the location where i'm at she's like please be careful be mindful of what you're putting out there because people will see you people will walk up on you she's had stalkers and now it's like you know I'm getting stuff like that in my email. It, it's getting a little weird. You know, people are like, oh, I know where you're at. They're emailing me telling me they know where I'm at. They know where we at and they know my name and everything. And it's like, OK, you know, it's weird. But just be cautious, guys. Please, please be cautious. Be safe. You know, they saying that um, now only thing you have to do is um, um, just look at a, um, your location in the background and it, you can pull it up on Google and it shows where that, um, and people talk about this and I'm like, oh my goodness, like really? You know, I, I didn't know all this was a, at my, that people was doing this. So I'm, I have to be careful about what I share with social media and what I do on social media because, you know, people are checking out the background and I don't want nobody to run up on us. So, you know, a lot of times I do do videos and by the time we get done with the video and I'm, I am edit it, we already done left that place anyway. So if anybody show up, we done already left that place anyway. But um, when you're doing lives, please be careful, be careful, be careful out there. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys. Um, just, um, y'all, I'm, y'all know I'm here for you guys. I love you guys. We thank you for the support. We thank you for all the prayers that y'all have coming our, our way. We really do appreciate you guys. Um, I, I, I may look tired, you know, I'm, I, I am tired, but you know, I, I'm still hanging on, still fighting, you know, 
pain or no pain, you know, I, I got to still, you know, I got to still carry the sword and push through because it, it, it don't stop, you know, it don't stop. So I thank God for strength, for patience. I thank God for you guys. I, I just, I can't thank them enough. You, you know, someone said, Patricia, you know, I know you are a Christian woman and, um, but what does that have to do with autism? I, I, I'm like, how can I explain who we are, my family, without talking about God. So, JB, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? What are you doing? Quit, JB. But, um, like I was saying, they, they're like, how come you talk about God a lot in your, um, your lives? You, you need to stop talking about God as much. You need to talk more about autism. Don't talk so much about God. Guys, if, if you don't want me talking about God, then the only thing I can say is just don't listen because I can't say that God has not done nothing for me because my children are proof of it. My situation that I've been through it is proof of it. You know, there is a God. I thank God. I thank the Lord for everything that he's brought me through. I don't just praise him through the good times. I praise him through the bad times too. Right now, I'm sitting up hurting. My stomach feels like it's about to explode. But I know how to praise him. I know how to throw my hands up. If people don't like hearing about it, you know, it, it's something else that, you know, that they try to tell you what you can't talk about on your own life. Like, don't talk about God. We like to hear more about um, autism and how it affects you. Okay, but guys, JB is getting safe hands, safe hands, Why? safe hands, safe hands. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. My safe hands. JB is getting. Why um, you pee, Mom? Uh uh, stop pitting. Why? Stop. Stop. Mm. Safe hands. Stop. Safe hands. Why? Safe hands. Uh uh, mm. stop. Safe hands. Stop. Safe hands. Stop. Hands. stop. Yeah, he's, he's starting to fight. And see, that was one of the things that I, I have concern over, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I've told people, whoever comes and sits with JB when I'm going to be out, that, you know, he, he can get physical. So we really need someone that um, can handle him when he's like this. You know, him and my other kids, him and um, Kimber, they were fighting last night. And thank God Xavier was here to break them up because them two fight like cats and dogs. And, you know... I'm pulling on limbs. Xavier's pulling on limbs, trying to break these two up. But um, I guess that that's my cue to leave. You know, he, he done hit me a couple of times in my arms. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, it, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot that we go through. You know, um, we, we're working with it. You know, I know his behavior isn't um we we don't always show all the fights and stuff but he is still fighting he is still hitting you know y'all just you know i don't know if y'all y'all probably couldn't see it but y'all can hear it with him you know punching me on my arm but whew, this too shall pass this too shall pass you know it'd it be like this sometimes you know um sometimes i have to take a deep breath and go pray and whew, but um Y'all continue to um, love on each other, pray for one another. We're, we're going to be okay. <laughs> we're going to be okay. I, I just, sometimes I got to smile to keep from laugh, for, to keep from crying. You know, that, that, that's all I know to do is just smile and just keep, keep myself in, intact because, you know, <sighs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> I, I don't, mm. But um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get off of here. He's done kind of messed up my my um, train of thought on where I was. Well, what else I was gonna say? But um, I think I've said enough for now, and I'm gonna let y'all go back and enjoy the rest of your night. And um, y'all take care. God bless. God loves you. I love you. Y'all take care. And um, thank you guys for so much for so for the support. We really do appreciate you. Don't do that, honey. But y'all take care. I would put the camera on there to let y'all see him, but right now he's he's exposed himself, so I can't even put the camera on him to show y'all him because he's over. No, uh, why? Stop. Just stop. Why? Stop. We're not doing that. Why? Safe hands. Safe hands. Why? Why? Because you're going to get hurt. Why? Stop. 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 Stop.
Why? No, you need to go sit down, JB. You need to go sit down. Come on. Nah, Come chair. On. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Yeah. Cause this, this don't make no sense. Why did you do that? Get the apple. Why? Why are you sitting up hitting mommy? That's not wow. nice. That's not nice. Look at all this. He's he's done been into the cereal. I done been in there talking. He done been into the cereal. He done got into the, the apples. He just I, I um put the lock on it, but the combination I didn't scramble it, so he knows how to get into it if the combination isn't scrambled. So I have to relock the refrigerator and the freezer and scramble the password so that he doesn't get in it. JB, your, your shirt is on the floor. Are you ready to take your medicine? You got some nighttime medicine to take. You ready to take it? Well, you need to take it. He's gonna take his nighttime medicine. Um, just, <laughs> Lord Jesus. You know, I would turn it off, but you know, I feel like you guys need to see it. You know, I, I can't, I can't be fake with you guys. I can't just show y'all what I want y'all to see and then hide the other stuff. So I, I'm just going to let it keep playing and however, whatever happens just happens so that you guys can see, you know, this is real life. This is what we go through, you know? So y'all just hang in there with us. Bear with me. I'm going to give him his um, nighttime medicine right now. Um, he is taking, I'm going to give him, um, this is the Respidol. I put him back on the Respidol and, um, baby, I thought you had this open. I guess you don't have it open. I like to um, dissolve this for him. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into it. I wish one of the kids was down here. They they don't never come when you need them. They 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 here when they want something, but they don't be showing up when you need them. Here, JB, get ready to take your medicine. I, I've dissolved it onto a spoon. This is the Respidol. This is the dissolvable um the dissolvable tablet. JB, put that on pause. Put it on pause. Here, get ready to take this. Nah. Take your medicine. Come on, put that on pause and take your medicine. Nah. Take your medicine, honey. Nah. This is gonna make you feel better, okay? Come on, it's time to take your medicine. I heard. Come on. Nah. Take your medicine. Uh uh. Safe hands, safe hands, safe hands. Come on, here, here, here. Open. Open, JB. Why? This is gonna make you feel better. Open up, open, Why? open. Uh uh. <laughs> Quit. JB, stop. Safe hands. Say Stop. Why? Take your medicine. Why? You know why? Because that hurts. Here, yeah, take this other one too. Okay, and this is this pill is his um lenses. I'm gonna give this to him real fast. JB, open up. All right, wash it down with your water. Are you okay? No. What's wrong? Why? Why were you? Why were you pinching mommy? Why did you do that? No. That hurt me. That hurt mommy's shoulder. It hurts mommy's arms. Why? Why did you do that? No. You sat in here and you made this mess. Look at all this mess. You wasn't even supposed to have these. These wasn't even, both of them wasn't yours. You was just supposed to get one. 
Now you done ate someone else's food, JB. That's somebody else's food that you just sat there and ate. Wow. That's why it wasn't there for you. I wow. get because that was Kimber's. Now Kimber's gonna come down wow. here wondering where her apples and her apples and um, whatever this is, this apples and caramel. She's gonna wonder where hers is at, and I'm gonna have to explain to her that you ate her stuff. We can't go around eating other people's stuff. That's not nice. Will you like if somebody ate your stuff? Yes. Oh, you would? Yes. No, you wouldn't. JB, did you eat all of the apples? No. Well, where's the rest of them at? It was a whole bag of them. Where are they at? In the trash can. In the trash can? Oh, my goodness. If I don't stay on him and I don't keep things locked up, this boy will, he will go through the refrigerator and start eating and messing up stuff and messing with people's stuff, stuff that don't belong to him. But um, I guess we're going to get off of here. JB, you want to say bye to everybody? We're going to go ahead and go. He's done taking his medicine. You know, my arm is... It's a little it's a little sore, but I'll be okay. And I'm gonna go sit down somewhere and clean this mess up after a while. But um y'all take care, stay blessed, we love you, and um thank you guys for the support, the prayers. We really do appreciate you guys. Um someone said, is he aggressive? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is aggressive. Um, what is his triggers? Um, anything can really trigger him. Loud noises, um, squeaking chairs, crying babies, fire alarms, fire trucks. Different things can trigger him. Mainly um, sound triggers him. So he, he's over here playing on his phone. He's done eight for tonight. So um, he goes to bed here in a little bit, um, in another hour or so. He'll start getting ready for bed at 730 and he'll be in bed by eight o'clock. So, but um, he's already taking his medicine. Be blessed and get you some rest. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna try to. I, I'm I'm you know. Thank you guys for saying. Yeah, thank you. I, I'm trying to do my best. I, I really am. You know, like I said, you know, I, I want y'all to see. You know what we go through. You know, I you know, and I know some people are saying that. You know, I know he's aggressive. You know, why haven't we seen JB being aggressive? Is it because he's no longer aggressive and? It's like, you know, sometimes he has his good days and sometimes he has his bad days. But we do have more good days than bad guys, bad days, guys. So I thank God for that. But um, I'm trying to read some of these comments before I log off. I wish I had uh, more help. Yeah, I know it. I, I wish you had more help. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. You know, um, things is going to get better. You know, I'm not giving up. I'm going to continue to um, push forward. You know, um, the, the devil be busy. I tell you, you know, he, he be trying to distract you, sending different distractions and get you off your game. But um, where do you all live? We live in Kentucky, guys. I have a daughter on the spectrum. She don't act the way he needs ABA therapy and soundproof headphones. He does have ABA therapy and he does have sensory headphones. Um, sensory toys, he do have those. Some of those he don't play with, though. Um, thank you, Monica. We appreciate it. Um, blessings to you all, guys. Um, does he, Yeah, he gets ABA therapy, guys. He, he sure does. We love you. We love you guys, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for the love and the support. We really do appreciate you guys. Uh, keep up the good work, Mama. Yeah, I, I, I have to. I have to. What? No. What is it? Uh-uh. 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 Stop. Save hands. Save hands. Stop. Xavier, come here. Here, pick all this up. You just sit here and throw stuff. Here, pick this up, JB. No. Well, why did you do that? No. Does that come here? Yeah, you, you need to sit there. Just sit there right now because you're, you're going to be on punishment and hand me your phone. No. Because you're sitting here, you're throwing stuff, you're breaking stuff. Yeah. Give me the phone. So now he, he doesn't have his phone. I'm taking his phone away from him. 
I, I have his phone. I know some of y'all like, take his phone. His phone is taken, you know, and... <sighs> So we're, we're just going to give him time to calm down. I, I done hollered for Xavier more than once and Xavier has not showed up. But this is this is what we go through, guys. You know, if I'm going to sit up and advocate and I'm going to show y'all this, I'm going to show y'all that. I can't just show y'all the good and not show y'all the bad because, you know, that, that's being fake. That's showing one side. And that was something I said I wanted to show everyone is both sides. No, put it away. Why? Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Why? See, he gets stuff out of my cabinets and he throws all my stuff out my cabinets. Get back in here and put it back. Why? No, put it back now. Why? Put it back now. Why? Because it doesn't go on the Why? floor. Put my stuff back, please. Quit. Stop. JB. Uh -uh. Stop. Say hands. Look at Why? this. Xavier, yeah. come here. He just threw the Tylenol, got Tylenol all over the walls. Look at this. JB, Xavier! Here, sit on the steps. Take a break. Take a break. Sit on the steps and practice safe hands. Safe hands. Yep, safe hands. That's what we're going to do right, right now. There. That's what we're going to do. Just safe hands. Right. Here. Yep, just safe hands. Just stay right there. Xavier. Yep, yep. Xavier's going to come in a minute. You need, you need to think about what you've done, JB. Yeah. Yes. Because th this is unacceptable. You know, um, therapy is working with him. ABA is working with him. I'm trying to, you know, stay on top of the stuff that they're working with him on. And we're still trying to do these safe hands. And, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it works. Sometimes, you know, he doesn't listen to the demand. So right now he's taking a break. He, he's, you know, uh-uh, sit back down. Why? Sit back down. Sit back down. Come back and sit back down. No. Wow. Go sit back down. Why? Here, give me that. Nah. Give it here. Uh -uh, nah. uh -uh. JB, give it here. Uh -uh. Stop. Mom. You're getting it everywhere. Bobby. Get down from there. Mom. Quit. Stop. <laughs> Xavier, come help me. Xavier! Get over here and sit back on the steps. Back on the steps no. now. Back on the steps. No. Back on the steps now. No. Oh! Sit down. Why? S safe hands. Safe hands. Ow. Safe hands. JB, come here. Come here. JB, S sit on. Sit down. Come on. Sit down. Nah. Sit. Just like, come here, mom. Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Xavier, I've been calling for you. Come help me with JB. Take your headphones off so you can hear. Open the door. He just calming down right now, guys. <sighs> Here in a little bit, I'm going to go have to clean all this stuff up downstairs. You know, um, it just gets awful. You know, he, look what he's do done to my daughter's door. He's kicked in my daughter's door. Guys, we don't even live here. This, this, I mean, we live here, but this isn't our house. You know, this is someone else's house we rent. And he, he done that. Um, over here is another hole he put in the wall. Over here, here's another hole. You know, my door, he's done damage my door. He's just doing so much damage. And this place is a nice place. And he's just doing so much um, being destructive. You know, like throwing his body up against the door and that's his foot that's been kicking in Kimber's door to get at her. They they fight like cats and dogs, I swear. Xavier, didn't you hear me hollering at you? I kept hollering, telling you to come help me. Well, you got to keep the headphones off so you can listen. I, told, I tell you all the time, you have to keep your headphones off. Well, well, how come you couldn't hear me? I'm sitting here hollering. Oh, Jesus. So we, we're going to give him time. We're going to give, give him time to calm down. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. JB, no, 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 no. Mommy. JB, stop. 
Stop. Why? Xavier, bring them out. Bring them out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. JB. JB. Why? This way. This way. This Why? way. Come here. Mommy. Come here. JB. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay right here. Come here. Safe hands. Talk Safe hands. You. Safe hands. But those... There you go. Safe yeah, hands. Xavier. Xavier, hand him his house shoes. He wants his house shoes. Shoes. Yeah. Stop it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep, we have to keep those hands safe. So he, he should be calm here in a few minutes. I, I gave him his medicine. So hopefully the medicine um kicks in real fast and he's able to um rest and be calm and use calm body, safe hands. So th this is what we go through, guys. And this has been happening just about every day. So this this is why, you know, I worry about me going in for this procedure and leaving him like this because I know whoever's going to be here, I know this is what they're going to have to deal with. You know, um, I, thankfully, you know, we have Xavier here to to help out and he's strong enough to to push JB back but I'm I don't have the strength to push JB back you know he just pushed me and I I done fell to the ground you know so you know um whoever does come and fill my shoes while I'm out you know I'm be praying for y'all I I really am you know um it, it's going to take more than just one person being here. So I, I'm going to make sure I put at least two people in place that are able to um, handle him with his behavior issues. So, but um, yeah, I, I know probably some people are like, why are you still filming guys? You know, I have to show it all. I want y'all to see how how we de-escalate the situation. You know, it's one thing to show y'all a clip versus to, for y'all to see it happening in live. You know, y'all saw how it was. Y'all saw what led up to this point, which really wasn't nothing that led up to this point. But this is just, you know, what we go through. And my daughter, she hasn't came out of her room since she's been home from school because she don't want to fight with JB. She, she don't want to fight with him. So she chooses to stay in her room. And so that's what my other, that's what Xavier has done too. Both of them choose not to fight with him. So they isolate themselves in their bedrooms all day, definitely on weekends. So I'm trying to find things to do with JB during the weekend so that um, everyone is, um, don't feel like they have to be isolated and they have to stay in their rooms to avoid JB. Because when these kids fight, I tell you, they really do fight, you know, and they have no mercy on him, even though he has autism. So, and I don't want them fighting like that. You know, they're siblings, but at the same time, they're like, we're not going to let him just sit and hit on us and do all the things that he do to you. He not going to do us like that. And so, you know, I understand where they're coming from as well, but at the same time, I don't want no one hitting on my baby and mistreating him, but you know, they, they do be putting hands on him if he puts his hands on them. So, but um, he he's he's getting himself calmed down. He's getting himself calmed down. We we gonna stay just a little bit longer, and um, before you know it, he'll be up jumping around and laughing, and y'all be like, man, you know that's like a light switch. You know, one minute he's fighting us and he's breaking everything in the house, and then the next minute he's sitting up laughing. And he wants butterfly kisses. And it's like, now we have all this glass all over the place. We got to clean up. He's done broke mirrors. He's done broke windows. <sighs> you know. Um, <sighs> you know, I, I, I really do pray that, you know, y'all don't have to go through this. People that have kids that have kids with autism. If you're not going through this behavior with your kid, be glad, thank God for it, you know, because, you know, it, it's rough. It, it really is. It really is rough. But um, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. A lot of times he likes just um, sitting on the floor and, um, just going in circles with his fingers like what he's doing right now. He'll sit and do that for like hours and I'll like try to get him to do something else and come in my room and we'll do something. We'll play cards or something 
or play some kind of um, board game, get him involved with us. But um, a lot of times he goes off and, you know, when we when we're doing other stuff, we'll find him at the top of the steps or sitting in this spot right here, just doing this right now. But um, he, he seems to be um, calming down. Um, th those are those are the twitch movements he, that he has. His body um, twitches sometimes, so that that's what y'all seeing right now is his body twitching. Okay, JB, are you calm? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, I guess we're going to get off of here. Y'all see he's calm now. Hopefully, we'll have a good rest of the night. Y'all stay blessed. And um, I thank you guys for everything. And um, y'all continue to pray for us. But we we love you guys. We really do, but we're going to get off of here. Y'all take care. God bless you.